That's the fire of the LMG. Nerf this. Sorry, buddy. Kinda kind of a nice chain. Oh my god, what an ass, what are we? Come on. Sit down, big fella. Okay. Boy! Sorry, buddy. This motherfucker don't miss. No, he's fucking good. Sorry, buddy. Had to do it to you. Who's playing fucking weird? So uh, what's up guys, it's here here by Nino or Quaji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Warzone. With the season 4 update, of course we got a new set of weapons and one of the new weapons that we'll be covering today is the new LMG, the UGM-8. You unlock a UGM-8 at tier 31 in the battle pass and man is it a freaking great LMG. Basically you can just look at this as like the MG42 2.0, has a super fast fire rate, very low recoil and is honestly very easy to use. And so I maxed it out to almost max level, got the perfect attachments for this gun, and went into Fortune's Keep and dropped a nice little gameplay on Fortune's Keep. If you guys are excited to see, you know, gameplay on the new map, see how the new LMG fares in the current meta of Warzone, and if you guys are curious as to what my class setup is in today's video, and you guys are excited for all that, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. Also, special shout out to the Common Gang from the comment section below of my videos. If you want to be a part of the Common Gang in my future videos, make sure you guys comment down whatever you want in the comment section below and watch all of my videos all the way through for a higher chance to be featured on the Common Gang section part of the videos. I appreciate all the love and support that you guys give me. Also, if you have the spare time, check me out on my second channel, More Carnage Hero. On that channel, I upload Call of Duty Vanguard multiplayer gameplay. So if you're done with Warzone for some reason, you want to see me play Vanguard multiplayer or Cold War multiplayer or something, then check me out on my other channel. Otherwise, all the main Warzone content will be on this channel. But uh, that's enough of me talking. Let's just get straight to the gameplay. Fortune's Keep is an interesting map. I still, at the moment, prefer Rebirth. I just don't like the verticality of this map. Too many places to get shot from. I just, I prefer Rebirth Island. This map isn't necessarily bad, but I still think Rebirth, Rebirth Island is better. They just need to, I don't know, provide more cover. I, I just hate buildings. It reminds me of Downtown, River Dance, and I hated Downtown. I don't know. There's some parts of this map that I don't like, but some parts that I do like. It's it's weird. You guys will see. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy the gameplay and uh, keep being big ballers. Class setup will be at the end, so uh, stay tuned. Oh, MP40, you bet. Okay. We need the goods, man. We need the goods. Get money out here quickly. Uh, I guess we'll, we'll push this and then we'll use the balloon to kind of transport us. I see him. Stop moving, bro. Stop moving. I don't know if you killed the dude over here, but I'm not willing to find out. Let's uh, let's hurry up to our supply run. I feel like somebody was right here. It's all good. See what happens. So this is actually a really smart play. I love those balloons. Not sure if anybody's over here, but anyways, get this LMG out here. Hopefully, have a have a good time. Oh, this map is really hit or miss. Sometimes they'll <coughs> they'll play extremely well, and other times they just uh, won't be the best. You inside, homie? I think he's below, actually. He's below. Bro, what the fuck? Nerf this. You really gotta be smart when playing this mode, bro. Why are the doors glitching like that, bro? See what I mean about this map? This map is like... A box full of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. I mean that literally. He okay, looks like we're safe up here. Take that gas mask, thank you. Pretty cool how they leave a gas mask there. Like a guaranteed gas mask. Die, 
so fucking stupid! So I'm over there. Sorry if I'm like coughing a lot too. I'm still really sick. This sickness just won't get that off me, bro. Yeah, I really don't like this whole ele elevation stuff, bro. Surprise, motherfucker! Hey, we're putting it down. Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, homie. Oh, I got a cash extraction located. It's a little mini event. Maybe we should get this uh, black market supply run. It's my freaking... What's his name, bro? Somebody's sniping me, bro. I don't like the look of this. Looks like he's in front of me. Fuck! 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 Oh! Nah, bro, you're not living. A shovel? What do you do with a shovel? You dig stuff up, I'm guessing? Get the hell out of here. We're just grabbing this and getting the hell out of here, bro. Screw you, NPCs. We out. EMP grenade. I didn't know you could loot for that either. Where's it go from? I'm telling you, this is where you gotta be really, really smart with everything that you do, cause you could die to a lot of BS out here. Oh my goodness. I'm just kind of on one right now. Trying to stay alive. Dude, this map, it's like, it's not bad. I just need to get used to it. It's still weird to me though, at the end of the day. Like, we got <laughs> NPCs and stuff out here. Which I still think is still one of the weirdest things that they've ever added in NPCs out here on, on Warzone. Our black market is like hella far away. We're not doing that. Had to get you off the lobby, girl. No! That's a real person! <gasps> move, hero, move, move, move. I didn't think he saw me. Good play there. Please let me get my stuff. It's like right here somewhere. You gotta be on your freaking everything out here, bro. I like the action we're having right now, though. Can't deny that. Guess we'll go down here. See what we can do. Big game bounty. Uh, I guess we'll get armor and a UAV, maybe? 14 kills, too. Not too shabby. That's him right there. Come on, team. Oh, man. <laughs> I was about to call him a teammate because, like, honestly, that's what they are to me. No, I think we're in the end of it. Bro, there's a whole bunch of stuff here. Hold on. That dude might be coming for me. Where's that bounty here? Please give me this. These dudes really freaking want me, bro. Hey, here goes nothing. The dude's above us, so... I think we should go for this dude on the side. I don't think he's that good. Okay. 
That's 17 kill game. <laughs> Sorry about the cops again, guys. The boy out here just kind of sick. They're just like chilling at the house over there. That's you. This is not a bad player. Enemy UAV active. Really isn't. That's what you gotta be careful of out here. Hold on, there's a dude of ghosts out here, I think. I'll take it there, man. This is a new map. People play really freaking weird. That was a good gameplay to kind of show off the LMG. Hope you guys enjoyed. Fourth place with the uh, freaking 18 kills. I did get a W on this map, by the way. But it wasn't as high kills, so I was sure you guys a W of that, but yeah. I only had 18 kills. This map plays very slow, kind of. I don't know. Very weird. But let me know what you guys think about the map. There you go. Nice little 18 kill gameplay. Uh, just because you guys couldn't see the scoreline before. But there you go. So hope you guys enjoyed that 18 kill gameplay with the new LMG. Sorry it wasn't a 20. Uh, the new map is, you know, has a lot of sweaty players on it. I'm still adjusting to it. But I think I did pretty well and showed off the gun as well as I could. But uh, here's my general loadout. And now let's get to the 10 attachments that make the Beach Coral UGM-8. Really amazing here in Warzone. For a muzzle, I decided to use the recoil booster. With a faster fire rate, you have faster time to kill. So that's why I like the recoil booster personally. For your bear, you're going to be using the Bernard XL214 736mm, which is going to help with recoil control, aiming stability, bullet velocity, and flinch resistance. None of these other barrels are really that worth it. I mean, maybe the burst barrel here is okay, but like... It's a burst, you know, like that's not gonna help too much. And then this one just messed up your recoil control. So if you want long range capabilities, the Bernard is gonna be the way to go easily. Optic that I use for long range capability is the G16 2.5X. You use whatever optic you want. I just prefer the G16 personally. Stock is gonna be the Mercier WT Ancre, which is gonna help with recoil control when mounted crouched or prone and accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. So the more that I shoot this gun, the more, the more accurate it'll become. Didn't really find a lot of uh, need for any of these other ones. Maybe the Romulad uh, Attack YR could be good, but I just prefer this because it would help stabilize the gun even more than the other stocks. Underbarrel is going to be the M194 Enhanced out for that vertical and horizontal recoil control, making this gun super accurate at long ranges. And for magazines, since I'm on solos, I'd use the .303 British 75 round box, which helps with recoil control, fire rate, so this gun could be a super laser beam, uh, movement speed, and hip fire accuracy. If you want a little bit more ammo but still want these same effects, you basically just got to go to the 6.5mm Soccer 125 round box. You just, you just won't get the extra movement speed, but you will get the extra ammunition, which is always super great. Uh, none of these are all that good. I mean, you could put on the 50 round fast mag if you wanted to. I think 75 rounds is more than enough. Uh, you know, it's all up to you at the end of the day. And then uh, these damage ones, they lower your fire rate, so I don't think they're that good. Uh, and then the 100 round box, I mean, it's just 100 rounds, so it doesn't really provide you any other additional benefits, and it lowers your ADS speed. Wow, this doesn't lower your ADS speed, and neither does this one, so. Uh, the 125 round box and the 75 round box is the way to go in the magazine section. Ammunition subsonic style off the minimap every time we shoot. Rear grip is going to be taped grip, and I want to use this for that extra movement speed and sprint to fire speed because I am an LMG. So I'm going to be moving around the map really slowly. You can also use the fabric grip for the ADS speed and switch to fire speed. So this gun is a little bit more speedy and easier to use in close quarters combat. Perk is going to be tight grip easily for the extra recoil control during sustained fire. And perk 2 is on hand for that extra fast ADS speed. And yeah, these are the 10 attachments that I personally used here on the MG42. <laughs> I didn't mean to say the MG42, but the UGM-8 here. And if you want to make this gun even more accurate, if you still feel like it has a lot ton of recoil bounce, then you can just put on the muzzle being the Mercury silencer, and then so you know change this to lengthen for more bullet velocity, and then change this to like polymer grip 
or hatch grip or whatever you want. There's a lot of good ways to run this gun. This was just more so that I have the fastest time to kill possible with the recoil boost. If you want to make it super accurate, that Mercury Silencer really helps a lot, as well as the uh, the other grip that I talked about. But yeah, this gun is really great. It's a good LMG. If you enjoy the MG42, MG82, whatever it's called on this game, and the MG82 from Cold War, and the Finn, it's basically like those types of guns. It's a super accurate, uh, super fast fire, so super fast time to kill. It's fun to use overall. So if you guys end up using this class setup, or you guys, you know, had fun watching this video, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe, and comment down in the comment section below how many kills, how many wins end up happening with this class setup. It makes me super happy to hear if my class setups are working out for you guys. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys on this video. Shout out to all the channel members here on YouTube and all the Twitch subscribers that are on Twitch. Your expert support means the world to me. And shout out to all the YouTube viewers who make it to the end of the videos. Because without you guys, I wouldn't be here talking and doing my thing. So just thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. You guys are all beautiful and amazing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. I love you all. <laughs>